Go to cemeteries. Go to cemetery and look to the people who are buried. Go to the hospital and see people who are suffering. You are very spoiled, that's why. It's very focused on us, just our own thing. You're not understanding what this world is going through. If you have some heart, then you're going to know whatever that we are suffering, even if it's so hard, uh, I was abused, by all these kinds of things. How can we dare to even say anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala next to the sufferings that we are seeing every day through social media? At least that should wake us up a little bit. You fall back into that gaflet, oh, everyone is against me. Then you're going to see, oh, look at these children who are starving. And then when they ask, what is your favorite food? He just says, bread. And they ask that kid, what is your favorite weather? We like it when it's cloudy. Why? The drones, they don't fly when it's cloudy and they can't bomb us. Are we understanding Allah is making us to become more aware of this world? For what? Just to have fun? Just to show off with each other that we read the headlines? Or to take lesson from it? This is another sign of not being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, go to cemeteries. Go to hospitals. Go to poor people. Go to the ones who are suffering and then sincerely ask my suffering compared to their suffering. Can I say something or no? You cannot. Maybe that time when you move yourself to help other people, not just asking help for yourself, that that pain and that confusion and that fog that is around your heart, it will lift. Most of the time it's like that. Go help someone. Be busy with that. We're living in very terrible times. This is not good times. These are very, very terrible times. We're living in the times where not only tyrants, they rule the world, but they are madmen. They are crazy. Do you understand? Not even Firaun was crazy. They are worse than that. Now what is our little suffering compared to the bigger picture that is happening? We cannot say we don't know. You know. In your own country, you know. So every day, what are you thinking of? What is worrying you? What is occupying your mind? Oh, yourself. It's not too good. Understanding what is happening out there and at least saying Astaghfirullah Ya Rabbi and Shukur Ya Rabbi, more Shukur will come. Otherwise, your ego is just playing, it's going around and around and around and around, never finishing. Astaghfirullah Lazim wa Tubulay. Inshallah, Allah will make it easy for you. If you're a murid, and if you come here, the Darga, I have other words to say to you. That time, I may make you to say, hey, so, uh, like this, huh? go to the toilet, clean it. And say, my ego is worse than that. Go to the barn. Go work, work, until you're too tired to even think and for your ego to play games inside of you the whole day. Yes, then we may break something, we can move forward with that. Otherwise, the ego has hundreds and thousands of tricks and traps. And that enemy, it is within us, it is not outside. Wa bin Allah tawfiq fatiha. Astaghfirullah alazim